Today I'm going to give you a quick run through of the Joy Chrome Plus. We were sent the Chrome Plus back in November to try and we have seriously put it through its paces. It's been uh, on a plane to Tenerife and up and down hills and mountains over there. It's been on a train to Birmingham. It's been in, obviously in the car and then we went to Wales to Bluestone and took it down onto Tenby South Beach in a hailstorm. Um, we live out in the countryside and I regularly take it on long walks so um, we really have been putting it through its paces and um, I'm, I'm writing a blog post which will go into more detail about how it's coped in different situations but really the point of this video is just to show you the main part. So it is very much a mid-range pushchair but I do think there are features of the Chrome Plus which rival the much higher budget pushchairs on the market. You can get a carry cot for it as an additional extra and you can also um, fit the Joy car seat straight onto it but it does come with adapters for the Mexicosi car seat which we already had. So it is a fully inclusive 3-in-1 travel system. So undoing it is really really simple. You are literally unclipping the side and you're just pulling the handlebars up. It couldn't be any easier. There is a kind of lever button on the back of the hood you simply pull that back to whatever level your child requires. As you can see it pretty much does lay flat so when Toby falls asleep it's perfect and he's slept for a good hour, hour and a half in this pushchair. We've got a sheepskin liner, this isn't actually part of the pushchair, we've got a liner that we added on there. Um, but it does have perfectly nice padded comfortable seeming base on it um, and we've got the green colour pack so ordinarily we would have had a green um, sort of pushchair part on here as well. So it's a standard sort of five point strap um, over the shoulders. These little bits clip together which at first I was like it's a bit random, kind of seems a little bit difficult or a little bit fiddly but actually especially when you've got a wriggly child that doesn't want to get into the push chair, rather than trying to fight with them to get their arms through the, um, the arm strap, simply pull that over the shoulder, that across the front, slide it in, and then it just clips in. Really couldn't be any easier. Um, so obviously you've got those on both sides. And you're away. And you've got obviously fully adjustable harnesses. Um, the hood, I would say, is one of the big selling points. It um, clips in nicely there, or um, if it's sort of like light drizzle, or when we were in Tenerife and there was uh, obviously a lot of sun, which was lovely, you can simply unzip and it doesn't just extend, it basically turns into a tent. It's enormous. So baby is completely sheltered and even when they're lying right back, you know, they've got a really, really good amount of cover to them. So you've also got this little peepee -pee hole, um, so if they're forward facing like the seaters at the moment, you still look in, see how they're doing. And I just think that is one of the really, really huge selling points to this push chair because we've had others and the hood has been nothing like this one. Um, one of the only downsides I would say is that if you pull the hood up maybe with a little bit too much uh, strength the seat does push up without you um, kind of pressing the button on the back so you've got to just be a little bit gentle with that but once you're aware of it you know not to just yank the hood up so it's really not a big deal to be honest um, so I'll just sip this back up again and then I will just show you how you change it into the parent facing mode. It does fold a lot more compact if it's um, forward facing which is why we always store it like that even though Toby is normally still parent facing at 8 months old. Um, so on the handles here you've got a little button under each side. You simply press on the button, it's got a nice spacious handle area. You need to clip it back in. It's that easy. And I think sometimes things can be a bit over-engineered, shall we say, and 
in an endeavour to be very futuristic and all singing or dancing, things become quite overcomplicated and that is on push chairs as well. I've seen push chairs, I've tried them out where I just look at it and I think, how the heck do you fold that thing? How do you do anything with it? How do you um, take the seat off? <clears throat> Excuse me. Whereas this is just really, really simple. Again, easy buttons on the side if you want to lift the handlebar up. I'm only little, so I do have it on the lower setting and that fits nice and comfortably, but you know, you can set it to whatever you want and it clicks nicely into place. Now, the shopping basket is enormous. Um, I think it's a massive selling point because there are a lot of push chairs. We've got one that, um, that my parents got us when I was still pregnant and we love the push chair but the shopping basket doesn't even fit my changing bag into it whereas this fits my massive changing bag in it and some toys and a blanket and a rain cover and probably my lunchbox as well if I wanted it to. <laughs> it's brilliant. I've never not been able to fit in everything I need, even at a bit of a squeeze. So that is a um, really, really good feature of it. So I'll just uh, switch the chair back over again and show you fold, how to fold it up. So just put the, again, press that button, bring the seat all the way forward, and just under the handlebar here are two black levers. You simply pull them up and over it goes. Again, couldn't be any easier as I when you're using public transport. Um, when I was on the train to Birmingham, it was ridiculously busy and I needed to fold the push chair, but I was on my own and I had Toby and I had to change the bag and I had my camera and goodness knows what else. So that was a little bit tricky because I was on my own. It's not like I could just put Toby on a chair um, and then fold the push chair up to put it in storage. So I would say if you're if you're going out on your own, you're likely to need to fold it. In circumstances such as that, then maybe you're better with just a regular stroller. But as far as a three-month travel system is concerned, this definitely is one of the most simple, easy to use, but well-made options that I've trialled. So. I highly recommend it, as you can probably tell. There's um, your foot brake on the back, so just simple uh, foot pedal there. It did take a little while to get used to going from a three-wheeler to a four-wheeler, um, but it, it didn't take very long at all, and um, yeah, you just, you learn, don't you really? Um, it, it does take a little bit of um, strength to get it up and down curves and things like that, so you really do have to kind of put your foot on the, on the wheel bar at the back and sort of lever it up and um, so maybe that's a slight downside but it's a very lightweight push chair so it's again it's not a deal breaker and I feel like I would still be able to do that if I was pregnant with baby number two and had Toby in the push chair so um, yeah that's that's probably most of the main features really and um, there are several colour options available it comes in black as standard We've got the green and I think blue and red and possibly a stone colour as well. We have to double check on that, don't quote me on it. You can buy the carry cart, you can buy car seats where if you've already got a Maxi Cozy, the adapters come with it for that. So really it's um, something that is going to be affordable to a lot of families and it's an option that I would highly recommend. So I hope this has been useful for you. If you are considering buying the Joy Chrome Plus push chair, and I would recommend it and please do feel free to contact me if you've got any questions at all if there's anything that I've not covered either in this video or in my blog which um, you can find the address for below then just um, pop me over an email you can find me on Twitter or Facebook on Budding Smiles on all social media platforms so I'm not difficult to find and don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you like my video and subscribe to my channel for more updates thanks a lot, bye